Hi, in this video I will show you how to add the identity framework to your ASP uh, application. So uh, on the left side what we see here is Visual Studio opened and I will create there a core, uh, a React application or anything like uh, a Spa application. So we have this one, we go to this and say React and now we take the ASP core with React.js uh, not with a Redux one and not a standalone, but with this one with React, Angular or Vue. So we take this one. Now I will say, okay, this is under my Windows applications. Uh, uh, my app is called 325. And for this I say, okay, the solution SLN package is also in my uh, main folder. And we'll say, create it. We take the .NET 6 long-term support. Uh, I'm not sure if the version 7 is uh, the right, would be better. At the moment, .NET 6 is the current status. And here, that's important, take the authentication type, the individual accounts, that's the identity framework where you may create a, a login and and the user, user tables with uh, encrypted passwords. So that's safe for the user. So, and do not use uh, top level statements. That's not, uh, I wouldn't recommend this at the moment. So we say create and now some, a lot of stuff will start. And now what you see there, it creates an application. And on the left side we have, uh, on the right side we have now this client app where always the client app is with uh, angular or Re react files and uh, when you start that stuff you have the problem that when we start it application starts running we have no database connected that that's the point that's what i want to show now come on here on the didn't it start now it says build is complete, completed. Now it's starting the process. It comes up uh, localhost, and you see now in the uh, when you take this with the authentication server is running on the background. See this one starting blah blah blah. Come on. And Microsoft also, also scaffolds uh, identity uh, framework in there. So this is under register and login. You can't log in at the moment because there are not uh, the corresponding databases, the table and all that stuff is not there. So this will not work. And therefore what we have to do uh, therefore is we go in, the, in here, we stop the, the, the server again. How did I drop this one? Ah, we don't need it. Okay, like this. Uh, what we do, uh, we go into the app settings. In the app settings, we connect our database. Um, when you have a local database, uh, and by default, there's a local DB, and then that's the SQL uh, local DB. So the database the identity framework is uh, related to the um, to your ASP, uh, to your SQL Server, SQL Express, for example, where that's for free or or local DB. And as you see there, that's my project, and there are only my some tables which I'm over, uh, I've used for ten years ago. And what we do here is uh, the, the identity framework will add some a big block in there. I already have done it in this way you will see a big block with ASP net and then there come a use comes a user block with claims logins roles users tokens uh, and the main important stuff is that the passwords are encrypted there so uh, identity framework is safe that's not it's not the user who, who, who goes in there and then he will uh, see what's the values in there so that is administrators can hack your uh, passwords that's what my opinion is so we have you seen that's a plain table uh, database and now we what we do now is we go now to our tools and there is the nuget package manager we open it in here then we have here the console 
let's see if I may scroll, screw it up a little bit. And then we say update database, update database. Let's see, I think it's with written with, um, it's always written with a dash, but I'm not sure. That's why I have to look it up. Let's say this update database. That's what we do, update database like this. Then we see you say enter and it builds up now a lot of tables. It builds succeeded then. And when you do a refresh now, ta -da, tables. Oh God, well, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally bullshit. Uh, sorry. What, what we have to do is first we have to go into app. Uh, when I was talking, I did it wrong, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. What you see is that's my SQL Server, uh, SQL Server and I, what you have to do in the under app settings, under the file app settings, I don't know why did I did it wrong here, under app settings, settings you say uh, dot the dot means the local the database server so that's a uh, sql server uh, express it's like a, f a completely full uh, fully uh, functional sql server and then here's you say sql express and now we take the database which is not like this uh, a di big uh, template where it's where it where there is it, it created some there but you say this is my current database it's a, an existing database it's a working database there's a lot of stuff in there and it will drop the tables in there so we start that we say oh okay so we say this add this one save it and then do this one again we go into into this um, into the package manager manager console type update database and now you will see <laughs> Yeah, here we see this one. Uh, I refresh it, go into the tables, and now you will see that there are tables. And you are able now, that, that's for me, you will start that application, a blind application, from scratch, like scratch. Uh, uh, Microsoft did a lot of work in there, and uh, there are a lot of cookies in the background, and uh, there's a login script. It's all kept in a DLL files included. So what you see there, this block is login and register. You can't log in at the moment because uh, because the tables are there, but um, it's missing your uh, any register any value in there. That's the integrated login script. And if you're not, you may log in in here, or you may say here, register as new user. You can't log in otherwise. I would say, okay, this is my uh, my stuff. I would say, take uh, take a new password. Yeah, I would say, uh, let's say test la password, something which is uh, which is very stupid. Let's say um, test. 1000 or 123 that's something like this now when I register is uh, a mismatch something like this I hope it's exact now now the most important stuff is that when you when you are there now and that's the integrated uh, you see that's the account register it's but these are integrated dll files so when when i would be an administrator i would be able to hack your account and now when i would go in there say hey there's the table now i'm opening it opening it and the main usage for this is it's uh, integrated it, you will see there's no password in there anymore it's not email it's not confirmed that's why i can't open it that's normalized it means uh, in capital letters and so on password hash and that's it you can't it's you're not able as a hey go to the uh, system admin and then he should uh, rewrite uh, it no that's not possible so and <clears throat> and since the since your record set has a, a GUID number, that's your ID. 
since this is a GUID, it's not also, uh, you can't hack it in that way that you would say, uh, <coughs> uh, take an ID and then what are your secrets? So that's it. And um, you will find my documentation somewhere in a confirmed link, which is uh, somewhere below. <coughs>